Um, hey guys, um, yeah, I'm gonna do a, another GTA tutorial, GTA related tutorial, soon, I promise. I'm just gonna, I just wanna get the, a few, uh, different tutorials out of the way, so then I can clearly think about, you know, what to do for a, uh, for a good GTA tutorial. And there's been a quest, like, wheel replacement tutorials, they're all relatively easy things, so, you know, I don't know. Um, I'll just show you this note, um. It's how to create a height map, or in um, GL applications, it's called a, a terrain map. Uh, and what it is, is a black and white image like the following, for example. Uh, where is it? Like this. I didn't organize this again, so, you know, who cares? Um, yeah. Alright, like this which is just a black and white image um, that shows a grayscale of black and white. Um, and this tells the GL, usually OpenGL application, how to um, process terrain. Uh, so you don't have to model it, you can just generate it with the texture. So I'm going to show you how to create a height map right now. Uh, it's not really GTA related, but I think in multi-theft auto servers um, you can use a height map. Not sure though. Um, never used one. Oops. Don't worry about the DFFIO. I'm not thinking about what I'm doing. Let's create a plane. Plane. Alright. I'll press F4 to see the uh, the sections. And we can sort of make the, uh, the segments a bit more. Maybe let's just make uh, it, I don't know, 70 by 70 segments. Um, you want to make it pretty big, uh, just for lots of purposes. Okay, let's right click and convert to editable mesh. So no, we'll right click and convert to an editable editable poly. I can never say that right. Oh, well. and just for now, let's maximize this viewport here. Let's just on the far right bottom button. Anyway, we got this here. It looks pretty sweet. Uh, what we're gonna do now is we're going to actually no put that down again you, you might want to leave it up anyway um, go to uh, vertex mode uh, my computer's lagging for some reason I don't know why um, now you want to go soft selection then you want to go use soft selection um, now that you got that uh, just select an area to see if that's what you want if that's not what you want you can play around with the values here like the radius the, uh, the pitch and the something else there's something else as well I can't remember the name of it uh, and I can't be about to look at the screen anyway let's select the movement tool and all you have to do now is just move your verts around and the cool thing with uh, edit poly is that it should create new for uh, new polygons for you brand new polygons as you're rising things up so we've got a cool looking plane here let's increase the fall off I said radius before sorry and we'll increase the pitch decrease the pitch I don't know what I'm doing let's go like that I don't know and remember this is a very important point that height maps can only go in one axis so you can't have you can only have things going up and down and you cannot have things going left and right so for example if I was to go like this for example see how it's going up the side let me give her a better example, actually. So, if I was going to go put it off to the side like that, you can't do that because it only projects in one direction. So, up and down only. I think that's looking pretty sweet right now. Let's deselect that and press F4 again. Okay, looks pretty cool. What we're going to do now is we're going to open the material editor. Oops, press M for the material editor on your keyboard. Select the first circle and change the type from standard to no no leave standard sorry and for the diffuse select a gradient uh wherever gradient is gradient 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 uh let me just okay gradient there we go let's select gradient um and now you're gonna change the top color from black to white and the bottom color from white to black so just swap it around now go back to parent and um, uh, self, set the self-illumination up to 100 so that you don't get any 
um, uh, lights affecting the look of the gradient. I just dragged the gradient onto the plane. It looks pretty stupid right now. Oh, yeah. Also, you're probably going to have to click show standard map in viewport. All right. Looks pretty interesting. That's not what we want. Let me just know. Let me let you know that. It's not what we want. So, um, we're going to go to the modify list and add an unwrap U UVW. Select that. All right. Now we're going to go down. Oh, no. Up here. Select face. Oh, no. Let's select vertex. Uh, and let's select edit. Let's zoom out a bit. Select everything in the edit window thing. Now go down on the modifier sub side, and we're going to go. Um, no, select face actually. Sorry about that. Select face, then select everything, and then go down here and change this to Y. Or, or X and then quick plane map all right easy enough so we got that generated there it looks kind of funky what we're gonna do now is we're gonna select the free to form free form tool and sort of move it up through the whole box sort of thing move your UVW map through the whole box if you, if you see what I'm saying also you're gonna want to maybe change the sort of view thingy to map one so that's what it would look like all right, now, um, just to explain right now, sorry I'm kind of rushing this, but um, so as, you, as you can see down the bottom, it's all black, and at the top, it's all white. So that's just making a gradient from top to the bottom, making it black and white. So as you can see, the top looks white, the bottom looks black. Very cool stuff. So all you got to do now is go to the top viewport, zoom in, and um, just go rendering and render. And that'll render out our um, uh, height map used in most GL applications. Okay, then, well, that's uh, that pretty much finalizes the tutorial, and I'll do another one next time. If I don't get too many complaints about not doing GTA stuff, I'll do another one on how to sort of import a height map into 3ds Max. All right, see you later, and have a good day, and don't forget to sub. Thanks heaps. See you later.